only call I ever issued was about a truck, which I said earlier, uh, uh, for films for children. Because I believe that this is part of an obligation of a film fund. Films for kids, but kids. I mean kids till the age of 10. We issued a call for all the film industry that we are looking for projects in the for development and project for production. And if we will find the right and suit uh, the right projects, we will give money. But this is the only flag we ever raised as a fund. All the rest, I don't care from where the pre person comes, from what part, from where, whatever. I don't know. Most of the people, I don't even know who they are. And one of the reasons, and for up to about four months ago, I made a clear decision that the film fund will not be in an office with buzzers and secretaries and all of that. We, I, this, I rented a store on the street. So, and we turned the store into an office. So that it will be very easy, very accessible, not God knows, you know, this office with buzzers and secretaries. People can just come and go off the sidewalk. Especially for young filmmakers who come with a script and they are like this, you know, we go to the fund. The fund is a human being, you know, now I'm at the fund. Next year I may go back into production. So it's all a con everything it's kind of, we think about because it's all about a constant dialogue. And part of the way we managed to move our industry and go in 98, our box office admission for all the Israeli feature films released in 1998, it's 12 years ago, was 0.3%. We were wiped out, we were finished. And we sell altogether about 10 million tickets to all the films released in Israel, America, you name it, about 10 million. In 98, we sold all the films released at that year, sold 36,000 out of 10 million. The politicians told us it was nice knowing you, here's the door, <laughs> go. And we, had to, and we had to convince them and plead with them to give us one more chance. And we went as an industry and we said it's a make or break for all of us. I came in in 99, as I said, we changed completely the way we operate together with the industry. 2004, we sold 1.3 million tickets for Israeli films out of 10. It took four, five years. It's, you know, it's a luck, it's whatever, it's nose, it's taste, uh, you can say, but it's a tremendous amount of work more than anything else. But it's doable, and it can be done. It, you can turn around the situation if, as an industry, uh, you all believe that it's possible to do. Poly Cinema, from the little I know, is doing quite well. Your fund operates uh, in a structured way. I don't know enough, honestly, but it can be done. But we are so much with the industry that, for example, we decided with the industry the producer's fee, the director's fee, the writer's fee, and the author's fee if it's based on a book. And everybody knows that if he wants to come to the fund and get money from the bank, which is called Israel <coughs> Film Fund, the producer's fee is 7.5%, the director's fee is 7.5%, the writers, screenplay writer, is 6%. I'll give you in a minute from what is the plug number. And the author, if it's based on a book, is 3.5%. The plug number for calculating the fee is the agreed below the line. If we agree that the below the line is $1 million, the producer, his fee is 75000 the director, 75000 the writer, 60000 and the author, if it's based on a book, $35,000. That's it, and that's it. Now, if the producer, if the director is also the writer, as it happens, then it's 10%, and that's it. In addition to that, in order to keep the companies, the production companies, sustainable as much as we can, because we don't want production houses that are fly-by-nights, what the American call, that they come in, and after a year, they'll go. We want them to be there. The, we also agree that the, the producers can take also an additional 5% corporate overhead, which is not the overhead of the particular production, it's a corporate overhead. 
in order because we know that we are all in the business of pick and bust, yes? And like when we have a movie, we have a flow of money. When we are in between movies, we try to survive somehow. So we have this in addition 5% corporate overhead. Now, because we give up on such a chunk of percentages, as I explained earlier, the 80%, the producer, writer, director, these people, the 7.5%, they will have also in the net profit and everything to, for the rest of their life.